Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace, back again with another 10 video ads video, this time 7 laser discs and 3 DVDs. To start with, I have a DVD that I purchased at Big Lots, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol from 1964. This was published by Genius Entertainment, and they put out a lot of animation on DVD. Okay, I obviously can't open it up and show you the disc. So I move on. Changing lanes. Ebert and Roper, one of the year's best films. Okay, this film, I don't think anybody's ever called it the best of anything. It is one of three films that were based on an actual race from one end of the country to the other. The first one I saw in college, and it was called The Gumball Rally and there was a film called Cannonball. This is the Cannonball Run. Obviously it takes place back when the national speed limit was 55 miles per hour. What's interesting about this film is A. It was co-produced with Golden Harvest of Hong Kong and executive producer Raymond Chow and included in the cast Jackie Chan. Now Jackie Chan is in the sequel Cannibal Run 2 which is actually worse than this one. Also in this cast are Burt Reynolds, uh, Fair Fawcett, uh, Roger Moore, Tom DeLuise, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Jr., Adrian Barbeau, Jamie Farr, Terry Bradshaw, and Mel Tillis. In the sequel, you've got Charles Nelson Riley also, and I think Susan Anton was also in it. Anyway, yep, I saw this one in the theater. I didn't see the sequel in the, th in the theater. You gotta draw the line somewhere. Okay, now on to the laser discs. All of the laser discs that I'm going to show in this video I got from the same place. That's ABC Lasers. They're one of the shops that sells through the laser disc database. And the woman who runs ABC Lasers, really nice. And as I've said before, she meticulously grades the discs and the jackets. And she threw in a Brucey bonus this time meaning she threw in a free disc. Now this first one is kind of interesting. It's a violent film, 10 to Midnight, starring Charles Bronson. Now what's interesting about it is this is a remastered version of an earlier release, an earlier release that had the exact same catalog reference number ML100282. Thankfully the remastered version has a different jacket. So there's that and it was made for Pioneer in Japan. This next laser disc is one that I also have on DVD Buffy the Vampire Slayer which of course later became a TV series and from what I understand there is 
a sequel that has been stuck in development hell for quite a long time. I don't know if it'll actually come out or not. And one of the things I noticed at the database was that it listed 22 chapter stops, whereas there are 20 listed here. And going by the fancy dancy card index system that I use, I've already notated that this one was made by Mitsubishi. Okay, the next one is one I have on Laserdisc also. Now one of the things that uh, Debbie at ABC Lasers does is instead of using the thinner poly outer sleeves that I and a lot of people use, she uses these heavier uh, less transparent but stronger uh, mylar sleeves so they better protect the discs or I should say the jackets this is Coma and if I remember correctly the uh, still that's used on this is the exact same one used on the front of the DVD Okay, that one made by Pioneer Japan. This is one that I do not have on any format. Cyborg 2. This from Vidmark Entertainment. That is one of the few Vidmark releases that I have that doesn't have a discount hole punch in it. it. Seems to be where most of theirs wound up. Made by Pioneer USA. I don't have this one on any other format. Also couldn't find a trailer for it anywhere on YouTube. Dance with Death. This is on one of Roger Corman's many home video labels. Concord, which he later changed to New Concord. Of course, he also has New Horizons and Click. And as the case with most Roger Corbin films, the audio is in ultra stereo, not surround sound. Manufactured by Pioneer USA. Okay, apparently this has gone through uh, several different uh, releases from the same master. The cover that they have at the Laserdisc database, um, or the information I should say that they have at the Laserdisc database, indicates that this has a barcode on it with an ISBN on it, but it doesn't. Not mine anyway. We have this movie on DVD in widescreen. Uh, my wife and I both love this movie. Atari, starring John Wayne. Atari is Swahili for danger. If 
film was directed by Howard Hawks, and even though it is a long movie, you come away at the end wanting more. The thing about Howard Hawks runs 158 minutes. Made by Pioneer Japan. Okay, this one can confuse people. It's the last one we have here. Top Gun. Now, if you go to the Laserdisc database and look at my collection, I'm assessing the ace there. My collection is viewable. You might say, well, why do you have two copies of the same release? Well, I don't. They both have the same cover. They both have the same reference number, LV space 1692. However, the mint marks are different. And the mint marks in, on this one indicate that it is a remastered version of a previous release with the same jacket and catalog reference number. And it was made in Japan by Pioneer Japan. And yes, I'm on my meds today, so I shouldn't be shaking quite that bad. But anyway, I'm trying to get this video done before it gets too late. Don't have this on DVD yet, I don't think, which is really strange. And this is uh, one of the first Laserdiscs I remember buying and paying full price for. It's right after I got my first laser disc player. Okay. As uh, in the past, check the links down below. You're liable to find all kinds of things, including links to trailers for these films, as well as a link to the Laserdisc database, as well as a link to ABC Lasers, and whatever I else I can think of to link to. If you collect Laserdiscs or any of the formats that uh, the Laserdisc database tracks, please uh, use their service. You don't have to let your collection be seen by others. It can be hidden. Mine's not. But you can hide yours if you want to. They track Laserdiscs including High Vision, NTSC, PAL, PAL Plus, uh, LDROM, 2s, just everything Laserdisc, but they also track CEDs, VHDs, and HD DVDs, as well as digital VHS tapes. It's a great resource tool, and it's also a great way to keep track of your collection. And if you're already there, and you would like to become my friend there, I have several friends there, feel free to send me a private message either through YouTube or through the Laserdisc database. I will get it either way, and let me know what your uh, name is there at the Laserdisc database, and I'll be more than happy to friend you. Until next time, stay awesome.